he is damn near a clout chaser, and he has been from the beginning. I don't get why people still support him. Don't react to nothing he puts out for XO. He genuinely, genu Jesus Christ, genuinely does not care for our real vocal all-around talent kings, nor our loyal XOL's family. I don't know why he even bothers. Please just don't look at any of his content. I don't know what to think. Seriously, I've watched your video about BTS and EXO fans are where you said, don't get mad, make better music. Who? Fans? The group? And then indirectly, you accused us XOLs that we were celebrated the loss of our beloved Jung Hyun, who, had, who was friend to the members and had written one of the most loved EXO songs. And today you react to Promise because you didn't even try to read the lyrics, which actually make this song so special. And you wait people to explain the importance. I suppose you'll delete this comment, but I want to say you something onto which you can think over. If you decide to continue to react to EXO or any group, please do it with a respect. Not only to impress viewers with some moves meant to show that you're vibing with the music, just try to watch and listen with understanding because without this, your videos do not have any value. And of course, if you don't like EXO, there is no need to do these reactions right. There is no drama. I'm sure you have more interesting things to do. I suppose your fans will come at me, but these are my thoughts, and I wanted to share them since that video. These are some big ass comments, cuz. I'm not even gonna cap to you. Um, I'm not gonna come at y'all with bad energy or up and like you know what I'm saying I'm not I'm not going to come at y'all with some wild ass energy because I already been through this with army like 6 months ago so this is this is not my first merry go round so um okay so apparently I'm a cloud chaser I'm a fake reactor and I'm only doing this for views right okay Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. So um um in terms of clout chase, I mean I'm not I'm not really gonna like break down what y'all telling me or accusing me of because nigga I don't really know what to say, you know what I'm talking about? Like y'all telling me that I don't like XO. Um how you gonna tell me what I don't like? I I don't I don't I don't know who I don't know what reactors you be watching, but fake reactions I don't I don't know I I don't, I don't know what I don't know I don't really don't know what is a fake reaction like me forcing to like the music. I don't know did I bob my head like too hard or some shit? Cause I I don't I don't really know what to tell you. Like I understand that I started off XO on the wrong foot. With my um, BTS versus EXO video, uh, I kind of learned my lesson on titling videos like that. As you can tell, I don't really know too much about the lore behind EXO and BTS. I do now, like with the videos that I that I watch, I, I, I do now. I'm trying to trying to learn, and when you try to learn, you, you know it, it's not going to be like the most pleasant of journeys. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know about you, but with me. I usually listen to music, like, vibing with the music. You know what I'm saying? That's usually what I do with music. And then I listen to lyrics. I didn't listen to lyrics for this song. Well, I didn't, I didn't read the lyrics to this song. So I'll, I'll, I'll take responsibility for that. I was actually listening to the singing because I really like EXO's singing. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I'm not really gonna. I don't. I don't know how to convince y'all that I like the singing. I don't know if I say damn or or shit or or they got vocal chops or other shit like that. Like I don't. I don't know. I don't know what y'all niggas want from me. But hey, man. Hey, man. Say, man. I don't really know what to tell you, bro. Because um, I understand that you guys have your own opinions, and opinions are not wrong nor right. So, if you believe I'm a fake reactor, then I guess I'm a fake reactor to you. Um, not gonna lie to you. Army said the same thing to me when I first started with BTS. And look at where we are now. You 
if if you want to, you can you can you can go to like my first video and then my latest video. You can see that it may seem like I was very clout chasey in the beginning. It may seem that way. I don't really I don't really think it's that way, but <laughs> if that's what you think, then <laughs> whatever. But in terms of like, I don't know, man. Like y'all y'all saying that I'm that I'm a I'm a clout chaser. I'm doing it for views. My EXO videos do not get as much views as my BTS videos. I don't know if y'all know that or care to know that. Nigga, I'm not doing anything for clout. I'm not I'm not really a clout chaser. I I I'm, I don't I don't see myself as a clout chaser. I don't know what the hell you be saying. Okay? Because yeah, nigga, I don't I don't nigga, I don't know what the I don't fuck y'all niggas want from me. Like I'm listening to music at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's music at the end of the day. I didn't know the meaning behind promise when I was given this, when I was given this request by my quote-unquote fans. I don't, really like calling, I don't really like calling you guys fans because it's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, I was requested this song because the people that watch me know that I like good singing. And good music. So they requested the song for me. That's why I'm listening to the song. And they gave me an explanation that didn't really sound, it wasn't really like too in depth, but it was like in depth, that makes sense. You know what I mean? And um, I listened to the song. I listened to the song. I vibe with the music. That's usually what I do. You know, I always believe that music invokes feeling. So I was feeling the music. And I asked why was it why is promise so important to y'all? Because I want to know what is y'all's opinion on why it's important to you. Not everybody has the same opinion. All you niggas are not a monolith. That's the point of my channel. I like building dialogue with anything that I do. I, I don't I don't know. I just I don't really know what uh what else to call my channel. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanna I wanna build dialogue with the people I talk to, create a community with the people I talk to. Um, it just so happens that I fell on the wrong foot, and I guess I, I, I indirectly started a fan war. Didn't really mean to. My apologies for that. But um, at the end of the day, t saying that I genuinely do not care for your real vocal, all-around, talented kings, nor our loyalty, whatever the fuck y'all talking Nigga, y'all like the music, and y'all love your, your, your idols. You, you love EXO. I, I understand that. Much like when I came into this, this K-pop game, I didn't know shit about shit. So it may seem that I was very disingenuous with my reactions. Nigga, I don't fake my fucking reactions. I don't know how to fake fucking reactions. You can tell when I'm not enthused into a song. And when I'm not enthused into a song, I just sit there and... Don't even bob my head or anything. This is my honest opinion. If you heard my honest opinion on BTS, nigga, you, if, I don't know. If, if I started off EXO the way I started off with BTS, I, I think I did. No, I didn't actually. I started off BTS with talking shit about it. So, mm, I don't know. And then I grew, I grew to like it. So, I don't know what the hell you guys want me to do, but I'm going to do what seems right to me and put my head into things and learn about what I'm getting myself into while I'm doing it. I'm not knocking you on what you like. Okay. 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 All right. So saying that I don't like XO is kind of, it's kind of a, it's kind of, kind of a lie because uh, I definitely listen to, <laughs> Let me go. Let me go to my damn playlist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I definitely, uh, I definitely listen to some, uh, to some, uh, to some real music. You know what I mean? Let me go to my playlist. How you spell his name? Baekhyun. I got these two here. You know what I'm saying? I listen to these. I listen to these songs. You know, Bambi. I really love that song. I listen to Privacy, Cry for Love. I like, I like this. I like Bambi. I like this as well. I can't really prove it to you niggas because. Y'all not in the car with me while I'm screaming the lyrics or screaming what the sounds of <laughs> the sounds of this. Kai, 
I love Kai's first album, but you didn't know that. Because why? Because you're not in the car with me while I'm listening to music, or you're not in the bed with me while I'm listening to music in my ears, or you're not in the car with me again with people that don't know shit about K-pop that I try to put them on to some K-pop. And sometimes when I put people on to K-pop, I don't put them on to BTS. So I don't know what the hell you talking about that I am. Let's let's go let's go to the thing. Let me let me that I don't. I genuinely do not care for your real vocal all around talented kings. I said I like D O Rose. I, I thought I seemed interested. I was talking about oh who's the bald nigga? I like the bald nigga. He can sing good. EXO can sing good. You know what I mean? Like I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I, I would say your opinion is not wrong, but nigga, your opinion is wrong as fuck. So I don't know about you talking about clout chasey, whatever energy, whatever you're talking about. I don't know what type of reactors you listen to or you watch that you may deem as clout chasey. I don't really care who you look at because I'm myself and I only care about myself. Um, there's no hard feelings between me and XOLs. You know what I mean? I cause it as I seize it. And if I seize it a certain way, I'll call it as I seize it. And I, don't, I honestly don't know why y'all telling me that I don't like XO. Like, what, what makes it seem like I don't like XO? I'm literally vibing to the music. I don't know what, what other explanation do you need from me. Like, if you, if you actually watch my videos, you know I'm not that articulate. I'm not that, like, in-depth. Sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really that, uh, that smart as I don't know what you expected from this video or from the other EXO videos. But uh, it's your opinion. And, uh, hey, can't really knock you on that. But I'm, I'm not a fake reactor. So you can keep saying that if you want to, but I'm, I'm not a fake reactor. And y'all could try and like tell other people that what I am, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess y'all, I guess, I guess all XOL is supposed to think alike or some shit. I don't know. But uh, yeah, but um, what I wanted to do today was actually read the lyrics on for XO's promise. And I was told why promise means so much to you guys. It's because. Let me actually read it so I can, you know what I'm saying? EXO's Promise was composed and written by the members themselves and was made for XOL. The lyrics hold a lot of meaning as they are an apology to XOLs for not staying as 12 forever and a promise to work hard and protect the fans. So they broke a promise. All right. I don't know. But y'all started off with 12 and three members left. And I'm guessing that hurt you guys because they made a promise to you, which is why the song is called Promise. So, um, nigga, I like the song, okay? I'm not going to fake bob my head. I, I, I honestly, like, I'm trying to, like, just, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to figure out, like, how you going to tell me what I'm doing? I guess that comes with the territory of putting things out on the internet and people just coming up with shit. But yeah, that narrative that I'm a fake reactor is that's that's dead. We're, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna yeah no nigga I'm not a fake reactor. Shut up. Stop talking. Like you, you talk too much. Stop talking. So I'm gonna read the lyrics. Sometimes I close the door and fall into my thoughts, thinking about myself on stage. You even liked my clumsy moments, but I wonder if I even deserve that love. You always waited for me at that spot. You embraced me with your arms. So thankful to you. I won't ever forget. I will make you happy. Just like the saying, we are one. Even after time, I couldn't say anything and just swallow my words. Words saying, I'm sorry. I love you. Please believe in me like you do now. I'll hug you. I'll hold your hands. If your heart can be at rest, I'll give it my all. I want to protect your smile. Protect always. At some point, it seemed like you were crying, even when you were smiling. You couldn't love me with a peaceful heart, and you longed for me as you remembered the memories my heart ached for you. I couldn't even comfort you, saying that it'll get better, that it'll be forgotten. So I'm nervous again. I want to hold on to you and ask you not to leave. I know I can't turn back a promise that I've already broken, but I want to live and breathe next to you for all of my life. I pray that you'll be happy like you were in the beginning. Thank you I'm sorry. I love you. Even if 
I give you my everything. It's not enough. My love, I'll protect you forever. Just follow me. You always waited for me at that spot. You embraced me with your arms. So thankful to you. I won't ever forget. I will make you happy. Just like the saying, we are one. Even if it is hard and I'm tired, even if my heart is in pain, I'll go on stage again. I'll muster up my strength once again for you who has waited for me. I'll hug you. I'll hold your hands. If your heart can be at rest, I'll give it my all. Such good days being on stage on my birthday that I spent with you. When your words became such strength to me, I know. I'll promise you I won't disappoint you. I'll promise you I'll always make you smile. Promise me just stay like you are right now. Promise me so I can see you. Your heart that must have been in such pain, I will hold it tight. Even after time, I couldn't say anything and just swallowed my words. Words saying, I'm sorry, I love you. Please believe in me like you do now. I'll hug you. I'll hold your hands. If we can be together forever, I'll give you my all. I promise you. Those are some deep lyrics. And I honestly couldn't can tell you, like, if you if you were that invested with these guys, I can understand why y'all f- have so much feeling towards this song. I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? If I came at y'all and y'all feel like I came at y'all disrespectfully, how do you... I don't know how to do apologies. Because I'm going to stand on what I said. I didn't really say much. You know, honestly, I, I was like, I like the song. I like the music. You know what I mean? I don't know what fake reactors you talk about. Like, how the fuck, nigga, what you mean? You know what? Nah, we not, I'm not even about to do that. So, Promise is a very, very, very beautiful song that is near and dear to your hearts, to XOL's hearts. Not me actually trying to trying to make sense of, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, I don't really make promises because... You know, not everybody can keep a promise. Not everybody's going to, not everybody, saying you're together forever, it's cute. It, it, it's cute, but nigga, you're not even going to live forever. So what the hell are you talking about? Just to, just to, just to give a sense of realism, you know what I'm saying? I want to be, I'm a, if I genuinely don't like them, you know what I mean? I'm coming at y'all with some, with some realism, you know what I'm saying? But... <sighs> y'all niggas happy that I read the lyrics? Is that what y'all want me to do? Like, I don't know what y'all really want me to do. Like, at the same, like, I came, like, I don't, I don't know. I came into this K-pop shit with an open mind. I thought I'm coming into this EXO shit with an open mind as well. Um, I like Kai. Out of all the people in EXO, I like Kai. He, he's cute. I like him. He's, he's real cute. He's a beautiful man. He looks really good in Gucci. And he makes my body shake with this damn mini album. But that's besides the point. Um, if you guys have anything else you would like to say or anything you would like to inform me about EXO, that would be cool. To the people whose comments I read, um, you want to do what you want, okay? I guess if you want to make people think that I don't genuinely care about EXO, then that's that's... That's on you, I guess. I hope it helps you sleep at night. But at the end of the day, nigga, I'm listening to music. And I'm trying to get... You know what I'm saying? I'm interested. If I, if I do this shit, I'm interested. So what the hell are you talking about that I'm getting this for clout? Nigga, I don't want clout from nobody. I'm being myself. And people just so happen to like it. That's usually what happens when you be yourself. People usually gravitate toward it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a fake person. I don't know any fake reactors. I don't know any fake YouTubers. I really don't give a fuck. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying, man? Hey, if you don't want to watch me, if you want to unsubscribe, go ahead. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to react to some more EXO because it's good music and I like the music. So, (laughs) hey. Hey, if you don't think I'm genuinely interested in EXO, well, I have three EXO type albums. Or EXO related albums in my in my playlist and in my you know in my, in my phone. Hey, I don't know I don't know what else to tell you. What's the problem with comparing BTS to EXO? You know it's music, right? You you know your your mind compares things naturally. I, I don't know I don't know what type of brain power y'all got, 
But y'all should let me know what type of brain power y'all got to just not compare things that go through your head. Like, y'all compare a lot of things in your life. Like, y'all compare food. It's the reason why y'all like some foods. Y'all compare reactors. It's the reason why y'all don't like me and some other reactors that I guess you watch. Um, I appreciate y'all for informing me about the the bullshit that I'm doing. I always be appreciative. Pre, I will always be appreciative of that. And uh, there's no drama between me and y'all. I don't got no beef with y'all. I really don't. If you think I do, well, I don't know what your brain is telling you. So yeah. Um, shouts out to the XOLs. Shouts out to XO. Y'all cool. Y'all cool people. Like I don't. I honestly don't see this toxic shit that be going on in. <laughs> On these videos that I watch, because I don't know, I guess I don't attract the toxic shit. But when I see the videos, I just call it as I see it. So that's uh that's pretty much it. Uh, if y'all enjoyed, if you're still here, leave a like down below. I guess if you still want to, I don't, I don't know, nigga, dislike it. I don't give a shit. In all honesty, I, I just I just I'm just very interested in music, and goes to show that this is a very this is a very deep thing that we can get into. So, hey, maybe one day I may cry while hearing one of these songs, like I did with Singularity and Zero O'Clock and probably some other shit. So, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for everything. Even if you don't like me, I still fucks with you. So, guess that goes to show that you have beef with me, but I don't have beef with you. So, can we just at least be friends or something? Or be cordial. Like, I don't know. The video's over. Um, yeah. Yeah. Bye. I'll see y'all in the comments.